show, guys. Come on. It's Bob Buster's comedy, so sit back and be nice. Check in on Facebook, get happy hour price. Buy one item in a moment, never pay a cover. Playing pool is free when the show is finally over. With Duncan, Robert, Travis, we have a special show. They host a live podcast, they want us all to know. Cappuccino, Conolingus, the name could not be finer. But what's ironic is they've never seen a real vagina. <laughs> We come in here to play your spot to see a funny show We invite our friends and family and people we don't know But if you get offended and think that it's too crass There's a fucking door, don't let it hit you in the ass Alright ladies and gentlemen, your host this evening uh, Robert, Travis, and Duncan Alright Alright, yay, we're here How's everybody doing tonight? All the comics that don't have friends. Good job. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Cappuccino Cunnilingus episode number 16, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Still keeping this shit show going. L lucky 16, as they say somewhere. 16 is uh, legal in most states. So. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have a mic. <laughs> <laughs> I got to share. Man. <laughs> Nice. It's like, uh, I don't have a mic. This is bullshit. We're gonna grow as friends? Uh, I think that was <laughs> something. I don't know. We're gonna grow together like a right. monster. It's molder. I believe it's called a tumor. It's not the tumor. It's not the tumor at all. I don't know what we're doing, to be honest. Alright, so I'll explain it. Uh, <laughs> apparently Travis just woke up, so, uh, we're gonna, uh, if you can tell by looking at his hair. Um, so, all right, so for those of you listening, uh, the way this works is uh, all of the comics that are on the show tonight have uh, uh, drawn topics from a bucket, and uh, using those topics, they're creating a set list. So they drew, uh, they, they, uh, drew five cards with different topics on each card, and so their set list is based on that. Um, so it's kind of an impromptu sort of, sort of set. So they're going to come up, as they're called, uh, as we have the lineup. And uh, they're going to perform, and after they perform, uh, us three, uh, listening to their set, are going to basically critique the set, uh, let them know what we, you know, what we thought about the jokes, if they were good, they're bad, they, they keep them, they, sh you know, whatever, you know, whatever comes to mind, whatever, however it makes you feel, Travis. Okay. However it makes you feel. I've okay. <laughs> Ooh, we know. We've seen your Facebook page. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you want to just jump into this, we just call the first person. Yeah, let's just jump Comics, into this. are you guys ready? Make some noise if you're ready. Woo! Remember, there's a listening audience of three people, so make sure you make some noise so they can hear you. Yeah, all eight of you are out there. Make sure all right. people can hear you. Hell, I haven't even subscribed to the page. I'm a douchebag. <laughs> all right. Uh, first coming to the stage, uh, first time actually on this stage, a uh, comic I met a few weeks ago in Orlando. Or would you put your hands together for the one, the only, Larry Griffin! Oh, man. You want to sweat it on? Turn it on. There we go. Is that on? Alright. Let's get going. Uh, alcoholism? Uh, I don't believe it really exists. I think that's just people who are bad at drinking. <laughs> and uh, you know, like either that or they just uh, they don't like it. It's one of the two. I'm just saying, like uh, you know, with that whole with the whole thing is uh, you know, people they, they they're not good at drinking, and uh, you know, things are funnier when you drink. You know, the whole point is things are funnier when you drink. And uh, the reason I say that is because uh, I'm funnier right now, probably because you've been drinking. That's all I'm saying. And uh, the other thing I'm saying is that uh, you've never seen, uh, you've never heard a funny joke in an AA meeting. And I think that itself is proof of what I'm saying. I think that vindicates what I'm saying here. <laughs> dick pic style. I've never sent a dick pic before, and I, I don't really, I guess I don't really get it. It's not really something that I understand, and it's okay not to get things. Like, you know, you don't have to understand everything. Like, uh, the movie Donnie Darko. I don't get that. I think it's a piece of shit. Uh, I don't get it, and that's fine. Like, I don't have to understand what people like about it. And, uh... 
fake laughing. I'm like, all right, let's just keep <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't get it. And uh, I, I just don't see a scenario where I send a girl a picture of my dick and she's like, all right, let's do it right now. Let's have sex. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Unless she's the kind of girl who's distracted easily by shiny objects. <laughs> and also has to like, only leave the house once a day to run to the mailbox. I think that's the only scenario where this would happen. <laughs> Anti-smokers. Some people are anti-smokers. You know, they don't like smokers. I'm like, I get it. It's like vegetarians and like really strongly opinionated atheists. Like, I get it. Uh, but like, you wouldn't be fun to go to a party with. That's like all I'm saying. Like, I don't want to die from secondhand smoke, but I still don't want to listen to you like, go on and on about it, you know? Some people, like, on the other hand, like, I, I do get it. Like, some people that are like, oh, uh, what about my kid, my baby? I don't want my baby to be exposed to secondhand smoke. You know, and like a, you know, like, what really, did, did you ask the baby? I don't know. Did you ask the baby? Maybe I don't want your second-hand opinion. <laughs> you know, is this the baby's opinion? Then I, uh, so, put a cigarette in the baby's mouth. I don't know. Like, man, I wouldn't do that, because it might be taking a little bit for him. And, uh, I don't know how much more time I have left, but I think I drastically overestimated the amount of words I'd be saying up here. So uh, the last card that I got uh, was uh, I said fuck boys. And I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Like I think it's just made up internet bullshit. Like it's just slang. I, I I looked that up, which made me feel like a horribly out of touch, just like old motherfucker. Because I'm 25, I shouldn't have to do this. I don't know what that is. But uh, you know, like I, I think it is just made up, uh, like internet bullshit and it's like a, don't teenagers know that their opinions don't matter until they turn 21 <laughs> like we don't care what, they, what words they make up and put on the internet you know it's bullshit but uh, you know I, I really did feel very out of touch about that I think uh, I felt like a, like somebody's uncle Darren like at a Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner like shoving shoving paper backwards into a printer like oh is that you sent an email is that how you sent an email I don't know. That's really all I got for tonight. That's all I'm going to do for you. All right. All right. Give it up for Larry, everybody. Clap it up for Larry, everybody. Let him hear it. I'm going to let you start this one up. I really like how, as he started off, we had an audience member walk by, like, the back of the crowd with a pitcher full of beer that had a straw hanging out of it. <laughs> Starting off with alcoholism. This is a very good start. Uh, very strong stuff for Raw. Like, and just having the amount of dedication to be like, what the fuck is a fuck boy? How did, what, is, what does that mean? This isn't, this isn't a real word. Just looking up online for like five minutes and being like, alright, so it doesn't really matter. I can use that. And just be, having, being that committed to the bit is like something that's really important, I think, for like comics that are just starting out and you know, moving on with the career. Like, most of comedy, like, I feel like, derives from improv a little bit where you have to have a yes man like in your set. You have to be able to be like, alright, this happened? Of course it did, because... This is the result. So, like, I think that's a good that's a good jumping off point. Yeah. Are you? I, uh, quick question. Are you related to the comedian Eddie? Group? No. <laughs> 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 speaking of that. Uh, no, really, I, I liked the uh, Uncle Darren. Made me laugh a lot. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it was. No, yeah, Darrens are just pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little specifics of like throwing a name in there. Like I throw, I, I'll use like Kevin a lot. Like if I like don't like a guy in a joke, it's gonna be Kevin. It's like a dipshit name. You know? and it's like yeah, I really like it. it. Made me laugh a lot. It's very funny too. I, I just had one more thing to say. I don't think most people know what Donnie Darko was about either. Like I. I've never watched it. I'm probably gonna go back home and watch it tonight. But like, it just I know a lot of people are just like, "What the fuck was that?" I don't, I, know I don't get it. Like it. Well, I, I I I'm agreeing with you. Like, I know a lot of people are like it too, and I I've seen it. I don't get it either. Um, they actually there was a there was a uh, movie theater in New York that used to have like a midnight showing like every night of the week, and people would line up to fucking see a midnight showing, and they'd seen it a million times, and it's just like, I don't fucking get it. You know, uh, I know there's like a, a bunny rabbit or something in it. That's really all I got. And, and you know, Jake Gyllenhaal, of course, he's dreamy. So I don't fucking know. Um, but anyways, I, I like I like the set. I like the fact that you started off with a strong opinion about you don't believe alcohol alcohol alcoholism exists, which it clearly does. I've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> 
But no, it was, a, it was a very good, very good opinion. Like, you took a stance, and you're like, I don't believe it. And then, you know, uh, you, you tied it up. I think at the very end, when you tied it up with uh, teenagers' opinions don't matter until they're 21, you could have kind of tagged it until they're actually legally allowed to become alcoholics. You know what I mean? You could have tied it all together. Um, it was good stuff, though. I like that. I mean, just for somebody who just came in, picked out the cards, and wrote it. I mean, it sounded like a, sounded like something you I would see at another open mic. With you know, it sounded you know good, good stuff, good stuff. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. Larry Griffin, Larry Griffin. genius that you put our topics on your business cards <laughs> worst case scenario we throw them away and in like three weeks we got a bunch of like garbage men at our show so you know a crowd's a crowd you know? so, good entrepreneurship from 2016 so i got these cards in here so i'm going to read them out to you not in order Ooh, i know right first one i got was game of thrones i don't watch game of thrones but i will tell who said what I'm sorry, I've got HBO and everybody's rich. White <laughs> privilege. <laughs> but my girlfriend does. She does. And the thing is, I just kind of sit through it, make her happy. It's kind of like anal for her. Sorry, I'm sorry. Everybody knows it. And like, all I can do, because she has like a memory foam mattress, all I can do is think the whole time, like, this is a garbage product. Like, it hurts my back. That's all I can think the whole time. And all I can think is like, how many people do you think did the wine glass test and it just like fell over and it stained the whole thing and they call and it turns out they actually knew about that shit that's why they did it they just have like a garbage product <laughs> they don't give a shit he's like yeah I got wine all over my mattress <laughs> sorry you can't return it now don't make rash decisions that's how you got into it <laughs> they sell it saying it's used by NASA I'm sorry there's no gravity in space you can literally lay on a brick and it'd be fine <laughs> How is that the selling point? <laughs> Don't make rash decisions. Game of Thrones! Use water next time, bitch. <laughs> pets. Alright. I don't have any pets either. But like I said, I'm dating somebody who's a white girl, so of course she has a fucking dog. And it's a little weird because, like, it is kind of like having a stepchild. Like, you come in, you don't know if the fucking thing loves you or not, or if it's just pretending for its mommy. Keeps bursting into her room every time I spank her, thinking I'm hurting her. Just because I'm Puerto Rican, I swear to God, her dog's racist, right? Just spanking your mommy. Next topic. Girl sleepovers. Now, as a former cheerleader coach, I know a lot about this. The only problem is, I don't know what it looks like from this side of the glass. So, I get it. said former. I guess... <laughs> I guess the only good thing about, I don't know, girls sleep over, you don't need plan B in the morning. That, that's about it. Which, I mean, like, it's a joke on only by itself, cause that's the most fucked up thing you can name something. Like, what the hell was plan A? <laughs> <laughs> you think about it, they just didn't name it plan A because it hit a little too close to home because it rhymes with, you know, it has the first letter of abortion. <laughs> so you can't just really put it out there. Kind of like Operation Iraqi Freedom was Operation Iraqi liberation, but it's called out oil, so he's like, yeah, we should probably change this shit. I'm <laughs> it's a little too close to home. <laughs> Being in a natural disaster, I am very privileged. The only time I've been, like, the only thing I have is a natural disaster. Maybe I like, I'll run out of blunts. That's not even a problem. <laughs> Like, I'll just go to the gas station and get it. And you know what? I'll actually think about this. I feel like the people that do the foam mattresses, you know how they know that it's a garbage product? The people that sell these, like, have you ever seen anybody smoke a blunt? Anybody in here? Not like a legit weed blunt. Like, that's awesome. Do that. But like, just like, give me a pack of Swishers and then just goes and lights them. I have a theory that the company knows about this and they just throw like 
shredded up cardboard and like pieces of dead leaves in it. Because nobody's smoking that shit. And that's why they're so cheap. And now you're thinking maybe a spliff. But if you know what a spliff is and you're ready to argue with me on it, stop smoking that shredded up cardboard. That shit's making you sensitive. Move on. It's a joke. I just got like 30 minutes ago. All right? Calm down. Not all of them are winners, guys. Better things to do on a Tuesday. Or like what, smartass? Like stay home and just see people argue over who we should blame, the zoo, the kid, or the mom. I see somebody legit say like, let me explain it to you. We had 10 silverback gorillas and we shot one for your dumbass kid. And then somebody goes, we didn't have 10. We actually have all the, why the hell would I do that? I like coming here. You guys, you know, I get to pretend like I have friends. It's very healthy. And I get to drink for cheap, so you know, there's a plug, come to Players Club. And that's all I got, guys, that's my set. Keep going for Juan, everybody. Let him hear, let him hear. All right, I'll start it off. Uh, first of all, uh, I think, uh, good job. Uh, we'll start with that. Uh, I've turned into Paula now, right? Um, <laughs> Last time we did this, I was Simon. Now I'm Paula. I liked it. It was good. Good job. Can I have some more pills now? Uh, um, so, no. Uh, I think I think there was uh, there was a tangent you went on with the with the bed and the Game of Thrones. I know you don't watch it, but you know, I think there was there could have been more there. You could have been talking about you know how you, you did watch it, and I don't know. There, there could have been more. You could have gone deeper with it. Um, I did like what? What was the one that we really laughed on? What was the What was the one we all? Operation Iraqi. Oh, Operation Iraqi Liberation. That was fucking clever. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. And uh, oh, oh, and and Plan A is anal. By the way, that's how you don't have babies. Okay, that's Plan A for anal, uh, which you did bring up. But then you went you went abortion. So you know, that's Paige's fucking shit. Don't hack her shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's got abortions on lockdown. Literally, she's got it on speed dial. Anyways, uh, <laughs> derby girls. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. That, uh, other than that, I think I think you did good. Good job. Oh uh, uh, my God! There's so many, so many. This is bad. Please don't. Please, I'm I'm leaving. It's like a night I'm leaving right now. He <laughs> <laughs> just has one penis. I don't know why. Hey guys. Uh, <laughs> didn't know, didn't know. Uh, yeah, first off, great hat. I really like your hat. <laughs> it's a pretty phenomenal hat. I like, I like the um, the whole cheerleader bit. I like the whole like concept of you as like a disgusting, horrible pervert. <laughs> I really wish you kind of played that up and had fun with it. Uh, this mic's being strange. But also hat, hat and pervert. I, I think I think you could be like the, the hatted pervert. And, they could make like whole movie franchises out of you. And I might watch it. They already did. It's Hell called yes. it's called Bring It On. <laughs> you never watch you never watch any of I don't watch cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I the only guy in the room that's watched Bring It On? I'm saying that movie's sacred to cheerleaders. Oh, okay. Okay. Like we have a spirit stick. With Kirsten Dunst, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's done. Ben Broughton. <laughs> I liked uh, just to start off. Like I like how you didn't rush through your cards and try to start working on your own shit this time. Yeah, it fixes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's better. I went with that shooting. Yeah, yeah. Good. And it worked out better for you this time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't really have much like to critique on. Like, it's definitely. Like it, right. It's an improvement from last time, and just overall, you know, you're working on you're working on material that you know even you said like I'm not familiar with this, so let's just wing it and figure it out from there. And just having the opportunity to work with new stuff opens up the doors to like you know maybe I can figure something out with this in the future. Like it opens up ideas for more material. So I I think I honestly think that the uh, the, the the thing about the uh, Operation Iraqi Liberation. I think you can use that again. That's fucking so gold. Hold on to that. And then the uh, the whole thing about uh, what else is there to a Tuesday night when you said about talking about the gorilla and the kid. That was yeah. That was funny because that was. I mean, obviously it's like poignant. It's timely. It's like right now in the moment. It's fucking current events. So it was good. Good job tying that in. One more time for one bed and quit, everybody. Let him hear. Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to keep the show rolling. You guys ready for more show? Yeah.
Let me say hell yeah. Alright, this next comic coming to the stage. Uh, I don't know what to say about him that hasn't already been said. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Mr. J. Alvarez. J. Alvarez with the Z. What's up? Hey. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> A little too close to home, yeah? <laughs> I really like the fact that we're all here. I feel like we should all just collectively take a moment and just smile. Travis. <laughs> just smile. Just let out the rage. There's an inside joke that everyone heard about. <laughs> because they argued about that for 20 minutes at the goddamn bar. <laughs> New people, that someone will fuck you, man. Uh, Alright, so where are my cards? Oh yeah, here. Take these. I don't want them. Uh, not that kind of party. I don't know where the you go girl came from, but that's it. Wait for Missouri to get up to here and we'll be right back with you. Uh, annoying stereotypes. So, I'm stopped at a red light, right? Um, is a car? Yeah, and thanks. And then. <laughs> So I'm at this red light, I'm behind another car. It's her, it's me, light turns green. I grew up in Miami. I don't know how you guys learned to drive, but when I learned driving in Miami was that if you're at a red light and that light turns yellow, meaning yours getting ready to turn green, you take your foot off the brake, you slowly pull out the gas. That way when your light turns green, you're a mile and a half up the fucking road on that. Because I don't have time to sit there and wait for you to find the fucking skinny pedal on the right. So this light turns green, and she didn't move. Now, I have perfected road rage. Like, I don't have to be in a car to get angry, all right? You put me in enough foot traffic in a mall, I will throw a five-year-old in front of oncoming traffic, I don't give a shit if I'm crazy. So this light's green, she doesn't move, and in my head, I want to get out of my car, rip her out of the window, and throw her in front of oncoming traffic. Only there is no oncoming traffic, because this bitch hasn't moved yet. Yeah. And uh, I shouldn't call a bitch, the only B word you should ever call a woman is, you know, beautiful, because bitches love being called beautiful, but <laughs> she earned it. She earned it. So I count, close my eyes, I count to three, like my therapist assured me normal people do. <laughs> <laughs> do you need a wipe? <laughs> a cigarette, perhaps? <laughs> I feel like you should do that without hand lotion. <laughs> so I hug my horn, she finally gets the patient, she perks up, she drives. That should be the end of the story, right? No, because according to page 67 of my Florida DMV handbook, now I have to speed up and catch up to her so I can look into her driver's head and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so as I'm doing that, properly executing maneuvers, heads at 10 and 2, safety first. <laughs> I pull up abreast of her, I look over, and I see the woman in the window, in the window, and this bitch had the nerve to be Asian. <laughs> really soon, Lee, this is the stereotype you chose to live up to? Yes, this happened on Babcock and Port Malabar. <laughs> But you just, if you know you're a racial minority and you know there's stereotypes linked to that minority, don't fucking live up to them, all right? I'm Colombian, you know what that means? I don't need powdered anything. <laughs> you want food, comes with powdered sugar, the best ones. Donuts, French toast, cocaine. You don't need any of that shit. I've never done cocaine. <laughs> I'm Colombian, I couldn't bring myself to be that guy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and I like weed. I, as soon as I find weed, it's nice, it's social, everybody gets in a circle. You end up in the middle of the night having in-depth conversations about religious conspiracies at 7-11 and 2 in the morning. <laughs> One of your friends is always like, dude, I'm gonna go back to school because I'm better than what I'm doing. We're all high. <laughs> I'm gonna go to school for business, and we're all high, so we're real happy to support his decision to get a meaningless degree. You can't do that on heroin. 
It's not social. You're not sitting there like, listen, 9 11 was an inside job. Right? <laughs> you're not saying. You're just not paying close enough attention to the facts because if you really did, you'd. <laughs> Down with the bloody queen! <laughs> Don't judge my British accent. When I chase the dragon, I like to do it properly. <laughs> Speaking of things only white people do. Um, so I'm divorced. I feel like I should throw that out there. Um, and I'm divorced because my ideas of women are all fucked. And I knew I was fucked because you know how... You know you on TV you have your first celebrity crush? You know what I mean? Like, I'm in my early 30s. Most guys from my age was like Winnie from uh, Winnie Cooper from The Wonder Years or Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. Mine was Penny from Inspector Gadget. Not the live action movie, the cartoon. And I only liked her when she was tied up and kidnapped. I feel like that says a lot about my current dating habits. <laughs> Because I just had this little five-year-old half-chub waiting for some cartoon blonde chick with a weird uncle um, to come save her from some, de some deep, dark basement while she had a ball gag in her mouth. Um, and that's why I'm divorced. <laughs> Guys, I'm Jay Alvarez. That's my time. Let's get out of here. All right. Keep it going for Jay Alvarez, everybody. Oh, yeah. Um, Did you wipe off? Uh, yeah, we're all clean down here, it's all right. right. It's nice, calming. Wait a bit. <laughs> You're very relaxed. Thank you. No, it's, um... Are those, I, the, are those the judges over there? Yes, these are, this, oh, okay. is a, yeah. this is a Melbourne <laughs> Idol panel. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not great. Um, so yeah, I, I really like the, uh, um, the road rage bit. I thought it was really funny. I liked, it was very evocative, like the, the picking up a five-year-old child and flinging him as hard as you can. I find you have not yet become an adult until you've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Just the imagery of it, I thought was really good. And I got like in some road rage earlier, so it's like, yeah, that's a thing that people do. It was nice. I connected with you on an emotional, <laughs> spiritual level. I, I feel most adults can connect over the idea of killing a small child. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're really so easy. <laughs> but, uh, and I, the weed joke's phenomenal. I mean, that was really funny. The whole, like, it's social, like other drugs. Like, that's really good. Like, yeah. Just the, the little bit about like how you're supportive of your friends and like you're not like no other drug like makes you like like your friends more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I yeah, I really like that. It was a good bit. So thank you, sir. Very good. I wasn't expecting the what Penny from Expected Gadget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you judge me. You just had you have a drink with a fruit in it. Don't you fucking judge me. <laughs> we established that I'm a bitch earlier. Come on. Uh when I wrote down that card, um, I wasn't expecting anybody to be like, oh yeah, I got this on lock. <laughs> Somehow you managed to do that. What did that card say? Hold on. I, I, I wanna, I'll read the card. Hold on. That I'll was start. a goddamn card well, first of all, but, uh, Okay, so first of all, I just want, let me just interject here where, okay. while I read the cards, because I'm going to tell you, I like how you seamlessly included every card yes. without actually going, okay, next card, like, you know, the other comics have. Not that that's a bad thing, because that's a way to do it, and whatever, but you seamlessly went through it, and bam. And your cards were, okay, let's start off with annoying stereotypes. You nailed that one. Okay. Uh, things only white people do. Nailed it. Okay. Um, talked about conspiracies and conspiracy theories. That was the religious thing about your friend going back to school and shit like that. And then you talked about meaningless degrees. Boom. All in the weed joke. And then he tied in your celebrity crush asks you to participate in their fetish slash roleplay slash BDSM. Nailed it all. Nailed every one of those fucking things, including the creepy uncle. Good job, good job. Uh, because I fucking delivered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. I'm just very happy that I got to see you perform again. <laughs> good job. Good. One more time for Jay Alvarez, everybody. Lay it here, lay it here. Huh? Alright, everybody. Uh, Jay Alvarez again. Give it up for him. One more time. Your next comic coming to the stage, uh, she is wonderful, she is funny, 
Uh, give it up for Paige Pizanza. Robert, you're not a bitch. My gender won't allow it. <laughs> Will not allow it. Okay. Um, superhero movies. I'm so good at these. Uh, number one, my favorite is Waterworld. <laughs> Don't laugh at my taste. <laughs> number two is The Postman. Okay, Number three is Field of Dreams. <laughs> and number four is Dottie Darko. <laughs> I want to talk about a real superhero, though. He's in this room tonight. He saved me in a dream last night. <laughs> Christian Moore. <laughs> I had a dream last night. He's right there, uh, the bald one. <laughs> the one with the glasses. Uh, I had a dream last night <laughs> that a man pulled me into a back room and handcuffed me to a table. I said, I'm not having sex with you. And then he pulls out a crossbow and I was like, okay, I'll have sex with you. <laughs> that really happened. And then Christian Moore walks by. I go, Christian, I'm being held against my will. Call the police. And he goes, okay. And he's dead. And he saved my life. <laughs> the real superhero. You guys know about vaping? Have you heard about it? This guy's gonna demonstrate it for you. <laughs> of course he is. So uh, I think guys who vape, like, just man up and get real cancer like the rest of us. <laughs> You're not going to be able to afford that, like, new sci-fi cancer that's going to happen to you. I think guys who vape are the type of guys who are going to order for you at restaurants. <laughs> and uh, I, I also think that guys who vape have... They're the guys who have definitely thought about bestiality once. At least once. Uh, but like, if you're vaping, like, why don't you just smoke weed? Right? Like, I feel like it's the same thing. I actually don't smoke marijuana, so I have no, I have no idea what pot does. I used to. I have a security clearance, so I can't. I'm better than you guys. Uh, but with the first time I smoked marijuana, I was like 15. And that was the last time, because, like, I got diagnosed with schizophrenic right afterwards. And there, I was like, what was in the weed? And they're like, just weed, there was nothing else. But I was, like, talking to myself in the mirror, and it, that's not normal. But, like, it's okay to be schizophrenic, guys. It's okay. Like, I'm on my meds, I'm fine. Like, I know you're real, and you're real. And, like, that green goblin by the bar, he's real. You're real, it's okay. Have you guys ever tasted colors? <laughs> it's great, like blue, the color blue tastes like uh, the first time that you tripped, like halfway tripped down the stairs and you were like, oh shit, is someone home? And then you realized no one was home, so you're like, I'm good. That's what blue tastes like. <laughs> so like when you're uh, at your house, you watch Netflix, right? The kids call it Netflix and chill. Um, I felt it appropriate since we're right next to a trailer park. Like, maybe their version is, uh, like, net fucks and pills. It's pretty good. I think Netflix and chill is a really good way to weed out guys who have small dicks. Like, they're like, yeah, you want to come over and Netflix and chill? And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then, like, you show up and, like, the movie's starting to play. And you're like, oh, I really hate this movie. Gotta go home. Bye. All right, that was fun. Thank you. Um... The next card is uh, Mommy Daddy Issues. I actually don't have Mommy Daddy Issues, but I sure fuck like I do. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are really great. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have. Thank you. Keep it going for Paige, because hands are everybody. Let it hear it, let it hear it. That was good stuff. That was good.
Uh, now, was Bait one of the cards? That was actually one of the cards? Yes, it was. Because I just, I just thought you went off on that dude because you fucking hated him or something. Because <laughs> that was just too fucking natural. You're like, you fucking go. That was good. You covered all the cards. Uh, the the Bait thing, that was fucking hilarious. Just grow up and get real cancer. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I have a vape in my pocket that I'm not taking out for the rest of the night. <laughs> um, but no, it was, it was good stuff. I like how you link everything together. Uh, I like the um, uh, the the whole thing about uh, now the Netflix thing. I think you need to work on obviously. Um, the the whole mommy daddy issue is a lot. Fuck like I do. Like a real truck driver. Very good. Uh, <laughs> I, I know, what I appreciate is how you take dark shit like the fucking sci-fi cancer and, and make that shit funny, like, you can't afford it, I got security clearance, I'm better than you. You know, it's, it's good stuff, you know, like I told, like I said earlier, this is, uh, if you were listening to the podcast, this is the girl that owns abortion. So, uh, don't, don't do the topic, just don't do it. You fucking, if you do, you're a hack, Paige. Uh, no. Um, no, overall, I think it was a really good job. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to, right off the bat, like, with superhero movies, I was like, she's not naming superhero movies. <laughs> she's but naming Kevin Costner movies. <laughs> and then threw Donnie Darko because it was a callback to Larry's fucking shit. That was fucking good. But I really like, if you were to take it one step further, like, you would have had, like, the perfect, like, movie version of League of Extraordinary Gentlemen if you just threw, like, the main character of Zeitgeist in there. <laughs> Was it Kevin Costner? I've never seen that movie. No. I'm you just pretending. nerded out way above all nerds and all nerd them. Like you nerded the fuck out right now. That's fine. That's I'm good. wearing Pikachu pants. What the fuck? <laughs> You're wearing Pikachu pants yeah. with a biker vest. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucking nerds. <laughs> I have a degree in astrophysics. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, the sci-fi cancer is such a great thing to call that. Like, it's just like, because they do look like weird, like cybernetic bounty hunters with their like, hey, look at me, I make gas, you know. Like, it's, it's it's great. So it's like science fiction. It's like it's like what Robert Heinlein wanted to die from. You know? like, great. Um, no, I, I, what's the Netflix? What's the joke? Is it supposed to be like if they have like big dicks, they just like have you them would out stay. There? You would Netflix and chill if they did have a big dick. No, but how do you... So, okay, so, like, they've already shown it to you, and then you're like, I don't want to watch the rest of the movie? Is that what you're saying? I mean, the dick is not a metaphor for the movie. Like, okay, have you ever uh, watched oh, Netflix okay. with a chick? Uh, like, yeah. the first 20 minutes, like, you're not doing anything right. Like, you're just making out, you're feeling yeah. out the terrain. And, like, that's a great time to figure out if you're going to fuck that person. Right, right. Okay, or you're so going to yeah, be you, really into that movie. I'm glad you have to explain this to Travis. Uh, what, what is sex? <laughs> no, no, it is. So, like, you're saying you're, like, feeling, like, what size, like, candy bar? Like, is it, like, a nut ring? Is it, like, a Kit Kat? Like, what's going on down there? Yeah, and then, and then like, that gives you plenty of time to figure out, are like you going to watch saying. the movie or uh, right, you're right, leave? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, do you like leave in the movie, or maybe you just? I, it, and, and here's where because it kind of fell flat. Yeah. I was just thinking maybe that's when you just go, no, I really like this movie. We have to watch it. I think that might be actually funnier than just yeah, getting up and leave because right. then you just sound like a pretentious bitch. Like at the end, like, oh no, I mean, Disney Robin Hood's my favorite movie. I, don't, I have to really pay attention. No, it would be Robin Hood with Kevin Costner. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the movie where that guy cancels Christmas. That's a crazy movie. But uh, it was really, really funny. I liked it all. Yeah. You nailed the laugh. Uh, yeah, I, I do. You nailed that, that Travis laugh. Yeah. <laughs> One more time for Paige the Dance, everybody. Let her hear it. All right. All right, guys, get ready for another comedy boy. Yeah, little comedy boy, right? Yeah, yeah. Next we got the one, the only, Missouri Trent NASCAR tree tops. Let him up here. Hey, we got Missouri right here. We got okay. Missouri right here. Okay. Hit him, hit him. Don't hit him. <laughs> St. Louis, right here. That's great. <laughs> I mean... The only time I fuck guys is when they're from Ferguson, and that's just pity. <laughs> let, me, um, let me pay my respects to biker Dean Martin. 
the press crew and Capote, and from the vest, I guess, the Boy Scout that got left in the Ozarks for 10 years. <laughs> so, um, Robert Fox, give it up for him. He is the community Woo! equivalent of your friend who goes to Italy and says, hey, guys, did you know they have Olive Garden too? <laughs> So let's talk about dating and being gay and being over 35. Which I'm not, but none of you are going to question it because no one of you can tell the age of the black people. <laughs> they say black doesn't crack. I think that kind of happened in reverse for me because I looked like I was 35 since I was 10. So I could read a, so I could rent a Prius at 14. Um, I think it's because you know my mom didn't have me until she was almost 40. My baby pictures look like Sojourner so Truth holding the words oldest infant. <laughs> Um, but I don't really get along with guys my age, because you know, I'm kind of older. Like, I mean, I was named after one of the OJs, so <laughs> only two people are going to get that. <laughs> Bonus points if you can guess which one. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, you know, I really, don't get along, I really don't get along with people my age, especially younger guys, because, you know, all guys, you know, I don't like the hairstyles, I don't like the clothes, I especially don't like the hairstyles, because the only man buns I like are the ones that bleed when you're too rough. And, oh, shit. <laughs> and, I live, and I live with my mom right now, I was living in Atlanta and I moved back and you know my mom she's trying to get okay with the whole being gay thing so whenever I invite a guy from Grindr she cooks and there's nothing more intimidating <laughs> and this is actually kind of true, there is nothing more intimidating to a young twink who you met on Grindr to come home <laughs> to some old black woman who made enough food for a tribe <laughs> because, because because cooking for more people than they're actually oppressing is like CrossFit for old black people. <laughs> because they get to spend a lot of money and they complain about it all the fucking time. <laughs> but my, uh, but going on to the topic of my dating life, my grinder inbox has more sweaty old white guys than CPAC. <laughs> <laughs> and what's really annoying is when guys try to be down with me because I'm black. Yeah. So for all of you who thought that I was a perky Korean school guy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll still give you a happy ending, but I'm going to charge a lot more on American, damn it. <laughs> Listen, this pussy's a thoroughbred. It's a thoroughbred. <laughs> they say pit bulls aren't dangerous. Try it. <laughs> it's more like a rock but, uh, but anyway, um, what I get a lot of, I get a lot of white guys trying to relate to black culture, especially white guys with dreads, which can be kind of hot until you realize, you know, like much like anyone who's on the Coachella, they don't bathe. So, one time, I w one time I was actually in Target, and this guy walked up to me. He looked like he just got done hustling Fox News. And he was like, hey, how are you doing? And I said, good. And he's like, you know, uh, do you like a classic R&B? And I said, yeah. He said, you know, you should come over. I've got all the collected works of Aaliyah. And that sounds impressive when you realize there's only three fucking albums. <laughs> Asshole, you're not a collector. You have an Amazon Prime account. <laughs> Um, and when I live, I live in Tampa, and I met this. I guess she has some hearing aids that's on the fritz. But anyway, so when I lived in when I lived in Tampa, I used to date this one guy who was called a queer theory major. And for those of you who don't know what queer theory is, have you ever met that girl in college who said she was a feminist, but she defied everything feminism was about? Well, her gay little brother has a thesis. He's like you. <laughs> I remember when I remember when I first met him. Actually, um, you know, he came over to my house. You know, typical thing. And he's one of those liberals who's so liberal they're kind of racist. Like you know, everything black people do is kind of exotic. Like you know, my name. You know, my name is Isaiah. My real name is Isaiah, not Missouri or Missouri, not a state. And you know, I sometimes feel like when people when people read my name, they think they're actually reading the Bible because there's so many interpretations of how they say my name. And when he came over to my house. You know, we were taking a shower together because he kind of stunk. But the best way to kind of tell someone they reek when I said to me, hey baby, let's get in the shower. Because I'm not eating your ass because it smells like someone else already did. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Although, granted, that was later on in the night, which I was kind of impressed by because I'm only five inches. But anyway, so I'm. Yeah. 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 Wait, so we're showering. We're showering. We're showering. Doc is about to die. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to be kind to the elderly. <laughs> but anyway, so we're showering, and you know, he's like, get in the hot water. And I'm like, no. He's like, do black people not like hot water? Is that like a thing? Do they not like the essence or the aura of it? And I'm just like, yeah, it reminds us of the whip. What the fuck do you want me to say? <laughs> I'm Missouri Trent, and that's my time. Thank you. Keep it all Missouri, everybody. Let me hear it. 
I, I just have one question. Can I see the cards real quick? Like, I have a feeling I know which ones you got. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you didn't get the one I was thinking of. All right. I really like the fact that you opened with making fun of us on the panel, and then proceeded to make fun of yourself throughout the entire set. But you had some really good jokes in there. Like that's my favorite part. Uh, yeah, I like the uh, um. Oh shoot! I just uh, the whole the whole bit about like taking grinders vapes home to your mom, and they're just like, "What the <laughs> fuck am I doing here?" Like they're just like, "Yeah, like that." The, like you've just taken someone so far out of your element, and then they're like eating sweet potato pie or whatever. <laughs> just, you want some greens, baby? Yeah. Hot mom. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's a terrifying. I I, I just I, yeah, yeah, that was really close. Big fan. Yeah. I I just pictured Christian Moore walking into a plate full of collard greens when you talked about twins and your your mother cooking. Uh, and when you said that co- an old lady, an old black lady cooking for more people than there is CrossFit for old black ladies, that was that was pretty fucking funny. And now that I see that you have the CrossFit card, you nailed it. Yeah. Um, I just want to point out, too, that Christian Moore isn't a twink. Christian Moore is an otter. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Learn. <laughs> okay, first of all, the fact that you, as a bear, know that, shut the fuck up, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm a power bottom bear. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> not with that vest on, you're not. Anyways. <laughs> um, I, the only thing, the only thing I had a problem with was uh, actually watching your act because your ass is so big, it's out of those pants, <laughs> and the underwear is just disturbing. Cause, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, one more time for Missouri Trenton. Let it in, everybody. Yeah, in my elderly state, I had to avoid eye contact with your ass. All right, we're gonna keep, is it your turn? Your turn. Or is it my turn? I think you just brought dessert out. You just brought dessert out. Yeah. All right, this next comic coming to the stage. I uh, came here all the way from Orlando. Put your hands together. She got dressed up for this show. I have no idea why. <laughs> Jasmine Jewel, everybody. All right. trouble counting and I'm number eight and that shit came fast. <laughs> well, two, yeah. two people didn't show up. <laughs> oh, okay, six like boom. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I uh I thought that tonight was about fun. <laughs> <laughs> was wrong. I heard all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> My first topic is called gingers. <laughs> oh. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Drugs. Like, they're always good. Right? Yeah, I took this acid in a car by some motherfucking Russian in Chicago, and it's just like dripping blue shit. And all I remember was like being in my my hallway and just like vomiting and like peeing, like, just in there. I had three roommates! What a week! <laughs> <laughs> ah, anyhow, what I read, because I was high when I got here, was bad drug tips. 
And that is how you get out of chips about, like, how to suck at drugs. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Tip number one. <laughs> Wear your long hair down. <laughs> Tip number two. Pay it forward. <laughs> because God doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> I think that I would be a bad parent. And it's not because I have low self-esteem. It's because I've had an abortion. So I'm already failing. And God, are you still talking? What's wrong with you? Where are you from? Mama Sasa? No, 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 no. I'm Oh, excuse me. I don't even get a city. I just get a state. I hate all people. <laughs> We're just going to skip the rest of parenting because that's a dark place for me. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy for the last topic of the night. No. The rest of the shut up. <laughs> I am dominant and I will let you know. This is the last time, baby. My last topic is evolution, guys. This is real important to me. It touches home. Uh, I would like to see the evolution of men into fucking adults. <laughs> that shit. And you know what? I was thinking, like, what could be yeah. number two? I'm like, wait, there can't be a number two because we can't move forward as women until men grow the fuck up. My name is Jasmine Jewel. Thank you. everybody. Let her hear it. Let her hear it. Don't let her hear it. Yeah. Don't let her hear it. Have you not been watching the rest of the show? Yes. Yeah, stay yeah, stay, stay up here. Okay. <laughs> Alcoholism does not exist. That's not an excuse. Talk to Larry. Oh, yeah, Larry. That was so funny. Alcoholism exists. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask the police officer. Pulls me over later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to go first? Oh, yeah. I, um, it is great. I really like it. I, um, the whole, uh, just like ending stuff. I'm like, that's a really dark play. <laughs> like, I really like it. <laughs> that's my impression of you, by the way. I'm a gifted impressionist. <laughs> um, like, I can do like an impression of Duncan. Do it! Like, do it! It's a really dark place. <laughs> or like, uh, I'm so sorry I asked. I can do like Robert. I'm sorry you asked too. I can do like you. Robert Fox, and it would be like, it's a really dark place. <laughs> you know, it's like. I'm going to save you, Travis. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, no. You saved us all. Like Christian Moore in Paige's dream. Oh, he just saved her. <laughs> Christian, you're in my dreams too, but in a different capacity. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> uh, you're the abortion. Yeah, I really like <laughs> Sorry, that's a dark oh place. <laughs> 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 I said something sexist to you last week. I just wanted to apologize. <laughs> you guys, that's so cute. He thinks I remember last week. Oh, oh that's hilarious. All right. Uh, I think it was good. I think I think the dark place that was funny. Uh, I think that uh, I think that uh, the whole men growing up thing. I think that's funny. I think you could elaborate on that a little uh, because there, you know there's obviously some some growth. I, I don't know about the whole like we. I really liked the anger behind it, and I think it was like directed at table two over here mostly because shut the fuck up. You know, it's just like. <laughs> and it was like it was live it was there it was visceral and you're like oh fuck you new york and you fucking like you know it was good it was good overall i think you did a really good job clap it up hey, one more time you. for jasmine jewel everybody right here <laughs> next comment coming to the stage is uh, another very funny comedian here from Brevard County. Give it up for the man in the red hat, Mr. Doug Scholler. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you. I would not have gone on unless you said a C-sharp. Okay. <laughs> For those of you who had walked in before, what is happening here is we have ourselves a podcast and we have ourselves comedians that are picking out subjects out of a hat and they're just going to write their set on it. What they did not mention so far is the podcast's name, which is Cappuccino Cunnilingus. <laughs> which, yeah, right? Um, so I didn't get to talk shit about the name whenever last time we did this. And so this is how I imagine that the name was made. See, the other co-host, Mitch, is not here right now, so you're just going to have to roll with his name in the joke. <laughs> so, Rob here, kind of like, hey Mitch, we got ourselves a podcast, uh, what should we name it? Uh, Mitch is like, well, you know, uh, try to think of something you like, something you have every day. Okay, cunnilingus. And Mitch is like, well, that's not exactly where I was going. But uh, let's roll with it. You got anything else you want to say? You want to add something to the name? All right. How about another C word nobody knows how to spell? <laughs> like, dude, if you're going to have a podcast, don't make it look like you took the words out of an SAT workbook, man. <laughs> Kidding me? You try to promote the podcast. Cappuccino Cunnilingus. I'd spell it out and my phone autocorrects to capitalism. <laughs> that was just the first word. Trump 2016. Right? <laughs> you say Cappuccino Cunnilingus. I have capitalism communion. And it's like, it's <laughs> not what I was going for. Which is a little weird because uh, communion is like really far from cunnilingus. It's like, we have the body of Christ. We have the body of Christina. Totally different things. So I think I'll get to my cards. About time. My first card was Sacrifice. I'm a virgin, so it's comforting to know I could be one of those at any moment. <laughs> you think there are women committing the jihad sacrifice to get a bunch of male virgins? Because I go to an engineering school. And I must say, I don't know what it's like in heaven, but the pickings here, not great <laughs> here. I'll tell you what, man. My next card is Tinder. Anybody here have a Tinder? I know at least one person does. We had a conversation about that before, Jay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. Tinder's one of those dating sites. It's kind of like going to McDonald's for dinner. You're doing it for the convenience, not the quality. <laughs> That's all I have on Tinder. All right, next card. Drugs and pro sports. I think athletes have it pretty easy. I think professional athletes have it pretty easy. When you get paid to play a sport, I feel like there's basically two rules. Keep playing. You're doing a great job. Number two, be a law-abiding individual. And it's surprising on how many athletes fail at rule number two. <laughs> There's only two rules. You got rid of the first one, you're doing fine, you're doing great, you broke the second one. Seems like you can't handle things up to two. It makes sense why you're a business major in college. <laughs> My next card is vegans. 
vegans are all right. I don't have any beef with them. Uh, they, don't have any, they don't have any beef with me. They don't have any beef at all. That's my final joke. Thank you for coming for Doug Scholar, everybody. Oh my God, that was that was good. That was good. First of all, uh, great job on lambasting the name cappuccino cunnilingus because I literally in order to spell it to put it on the Facebook page no no I had to I had to hit the the voice button and say it so that it would spell it out properly because I was like I I don't I'm because is it a C U or a C A because it's cappuccino but it's cappuccino but it's like fucking yeah fucking assholes that's what you guys are I spelled it wrong on my joke book I know I did it's not even right it's okay nobody's gonna see it guys relax relax this is not I know you're a student. It's not a fucking test, okay? Talk, calm down. Nobody's checking your notebook. Nobody's checking your work. Right. Um, no, but it was. I was. I like that. I like that as an intro. Um, I think the tender joke was hilarious. I think that was funny. I think you could go deeper with that uh, pun. Completely intended. Uh, <laughs> and since you're going with puns, I mean, the, the beef. The <laughs> Ramon Maleda would be proud. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> A few of you know who I'm talking about. Some of you are like, who the fuck is that guy? Uh, he, we called him the pun usher uh, for a reason because it was punishment watching his set. Anyways, uh, no, but that was that was I like that. Um, I think I think that you kind of tied it all together was was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Douglas. Yes. I have a quick question for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you a are you a showler or a growler? That is the worst joke. You said that joke to me five times. It's not funny, Travis. I said it more than five times. There's no way. It's a, it's a, no, I like that. It just that hat say. Does it say "Make America Golf Again"? <laughs> <laughs> look like a, you look like a young Republican version of the guy from Caddyshack. <laughs> that joke's not great. I'll get that one. No, it's well, I, I, is this a roast or fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ? Dude. Um, well deserved. Yes. No, I really liked it. It was a great set. I, uh, I love the, the Tinder show. I like the whole thing of like, uh, yeah, like if you make it a podcast, like it should be words you can like spell. That like a regular person knows how they work. I don't know how those words work. Like I, I know some people can spell them, but I will never, I will never get cappuccino right my first time. Just like that. Kind of but that's not uh, the point. Oh, uh, oh, wait, I, can I make another injection about the, the cappuccino kind of like thing? Uh, when you said cunnilingus and and, uh, and communion aren't exactly the same, yeah. I was like, well, you gotta stick your tongue out to do both. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, super funny. I really liked it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What the fuck, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> that joke's been written for a month, dude. <laughs> It's literally written on the back of all your cards. <laughs> yeah, I spent I spent like fifteen whole minutes like trying to make sure everything was spelled right before I sent those off. And somehow, and somehow, the person that I have designing some of my stuff, like coming out soon, didn't spell it right despite having a copy of the actual business card like right in front of them. So his joke is accurate. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry that most of the people in this room got a Florida education and weren't learning how big words are spelled. I had a New Jersey education. Yes. It's just a so little bit spell, better. but you can't fucking drive. Good job. Yeah. What exit? Yeah. yeah, what exit? 7A. Yeah. yeah. Turnpike or, or turnpike? Okay, always, always fucking turnpike. Is that Borden Town? Oh, yeah. Something in Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Borden Town, Burlington. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. What is the geography lesson? All right. Get the up for Doug's show, everybody. Good job. Good. You can go for it. We got one more comic left. You guys ready for the last time in the evening? Let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, right up next, last, final comic of the evening.
Thank you, everybody. Travis does not have fur at all. <laughs> As I'm sure all of you know. Let's, uh, let's just jump right in. Dudes, where you at? Hey! Hi! Cool. <laughs> Let's just do this as a test. Ladies, where you at? <laughs> Way quieter. Way quieter. Both less of them and less willing to uh, <laughs> respond to a call to action. <laughs> Let's talk about some real shit, Jasmine. Let's talk about some real stuff. Uh, come on, Jasmine. <laughs> no, sir, I'm sorry. You come on. Yeah, no, put your hand down and be quiet for like five fucking minutes. Did you know that this is, it's a comedy show. Like, we're doing jokes and shit. We don't need to know where you're from or like who you are or who that person sitting next to you is. We don't care. We, we appreciate you coming out. Uh, but shut up. <laughs> forever. If you can. If you can shut up forever. I mean, obviously, at court appearances, which I assume you're going to have a lot of... <laughs> you can talk all you want to defend yourself against whatever awful crime you've committed. But if you're in a comedy show, shut the goddamn fuck up. Seriously. There's people up here trying to talk about pet names for your genitals. <laughs> See what happens when you're quiet? There's good names for your genitals, like not mentioning them at all. That's a good name. I love that name. I love it when it's just like we're fucking and we're not talking about it. We're not naming like some Westeros Game of Thrones ass name for your fucking pussy or my dick. That's a good name, is no name at all. But let's talk about bad names, because that's the only name that you can ever give a genital. Genitals? Hmm. Genitalia. You know? Jean Lajoie, look him up. Um, yeah, that's right, guys. I'm punk. I reference YouTube videos from several years ago. Bad names for genitalia, and they can be like, I think a good one for, let's start with gals, because you guys are decent enough usually to not name your pussy. You're, you like don't even like it being called a pussy. Like that's like a thing, like I don't like it when you, that's degrading. Uh, but that's the only thing I know how to call it. Uh, there's no other word in my in my vocabulary. Vagina is a word, but that's like a disease. It's like an infectious disease. Am I gonna catch vagina? I hope so. Um, soon. The um, I think the Sarlacc pit. That's a pretty great uh, awful name for your vagina. It sort of looks like that, minus the teeth. If you're normal. The cave of wonders. While Whimsical is a reference to an old movie by Disney. Don't do it. Don't confuse my sexuality. I want to keep Aladdin and your vagina separate, okay? I love both of those things. But guys, guys are the fucking worst. They're the worst. They want to name their... They, guys are the ones that are like, I want to name it! Like, <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna name my balls Benoit. <laughs> oh, there are some girls in here that are laughing their asses off at that. Guys, pay attention when you go to Fair Villa. Um, <laughs> nobody, go to Fair Villa. How about that? <laughs> Fair Villa once in your life, like experience sexuality once. All right, well that's uh, the bad nicknames. I'm sorry. I just wanna let's just get this out of the way. Bad nicknames for your dick guys, all right? Uh, the fuck truck. Bad name for your dick. Anything with a military title. Corporal. The general. Admiral. Lance Corporal is acceptable. 
And it always is. In my first card. All right, so guys, this is a hard one dealing with PTSD, which as everybody knows, and you can finish it with me, you can say it with me in, in song, uh, putting Terry Schiavo down, I'm still... <laughs> having a tough time unpacking all of the ethical conundrums involved. <laughs> Terry Schiavo. For real though, I'm small and white and like nothing has ever happened to me. Po Post-traumatic stress disorder, like I have had the, I have had no stress or trauma yeah. in my entire life. Like this guy obviously knows because he's from New York, uh, <laughs> like they all do, right? Am I right? <laughs> no? Okay. All right. Uh, I thought he was the expert on being from New York. Um, no, but like, no, uh, like, I have the lack of trauma and stress in my life that, like, at this point, the karmic, like, balance that I owe the universe, I will probably, like, get half of my face eaten off by, like, a tiger shark. Like, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's in the cards for me at this point. You guys don't like tiger sharks? I'll use a different shark next time. <laughs> Black lives matter. I don't know if you've heard about this. Black lives matter. An easy laughter from white New York guy. <laughs> yeah, no, Black Lives Matter, it's a thing. You know, hey, all lives matter, people, we get it. All lives matter, just like some houses aren't on fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so you know how, like, you have the fire department, and there are houses that are on fire, and then there's houses that aren't on fire, and, like, if the fire department showed up to put out a fire that wasn't happening at the house that would be ridiculous black lives matter because they're on fire maybe don't go all lives matter maybe go hey that's an interesting perspective i'm not black i'm a white new yorker who thinks he knows everything maybe Maybe just for two seconds, be like, I have no idea what that's like. I have no idea. I'm a person, I get it. I'm not a black person, that's a little different. Right, Missouri? Oh, thank you, yeah. It's a little different. Would you, would you agree or would you not agree? Where are you? Missouri, whatever state you're named after. Instagram models, let's get off that uncomfortable topic. Huh? Instagram models. So, like, for this to work, you have to understand what Instagram is, which is, it's just Facebook pictures. That's what it is. It's like, if you took Facebook and Twitter, and they had sex with each other, and then you stripped out all the other content from Facebook, or, like, any of the news, it's literally, this is a job that you can have, women or men, not you, I gestured to you, but obviously you're, you're not gonna fit the bill, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> It's a very visual art, being an Instagram model, model, as they uh, say, and uh, it's, uh, it's not gonna work. Basically, here's the thing. If you're hot, you have $150 for a goddamn cell phone, guess what? You can be a model. Someone will pay you to look at your asshole. <laughs> or your feet. For some reason, those two are always, uh, always right next to each other, assholes and feet. <laughs> Don't really understand why. My last card is... I think why we're all here. I mean, really, the man of the hour, this panel right here. Yeah, yeah, give him a hand. This panel, yeah, no, seriously, give him a hand, because they've stood, and they've listened to our awesome jokes, and they've given lackluster critique on each and every one of them. And, you know, I mean, that's hard. That's hard to just sit and uh, make fun of somebody else's stand-up. Uh... <laughs> Let's look at these guys. All right, so, I mean, obviously, Travis, let's start with you. You Johnny come lately. You fucking, uh, you second string ju uh, panel judge on this, uh, on this thing. Um, you know, you're one of my good friends, uh, but when you laugh, it, it, yeah, no, for real. It, it sounds like a Mongolian yak having an orgasm. <laughs> And it's a joy to hear, just like a Mongolian yak having an orgasm. My next, I'm just going to make it short because I know it went long, but like, uh, you guys, you guys look like, did you coordinate? Because you look like an old asshole 
from like the 1970s, like late 1970s punk. Like you look like God Save the Queen, but also you like shaved, so you're not punk. You're not punk. You just put that, just throw, take that denim in the patches and just, can you throw it in the river? Because nobody likes you. And you look like a new punk, which is sad because you guys just need to switch places, I think. Are you aware, like Daredevil, like he's, he's blind. Much like you are, to the, uh, to the changing- I got nothing. <laughs> Keep it going for Christian Moore, everybody. Let him hear it. Christian, can you pass us cards, please? Yeah, let me just do your job. <laughs> it's hard sitting down for an hour and a half. Right? I know it is, baby, I know. <laughs> I had something for what you were, what you started out with, but then, like, you just completely blew me away, it almost to tears, so. That's what I do. I, I completely forgot what I said. If it comes back to me, I'll say it, but. It's good. Just uh, say good things until then. What? Say good things until then. Good things. Yeah, yeah. I didn't tell you to stop. <laughs> good things. No, that's fine. <laughs> Next judge. Uh, hey! Girl, how are you doing? What's up, girl? You want a good check? You can give me a good review? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what is this a review? Is that I what give you is a Yelp review. Uh, okay, Yelp <laughs> review. Well, lackluster service. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the, the staff was cruel to me. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to this Christian Moore. He called me a giant cum animal. <laughs> <laughs> don't do don't do this one. Two stars, great meat, but terrible service. <laughs> What well, my ex-girlfriends have said. Uh, Chris uh, is, a, is a, uh, uh, a good friend of mine, and he's sort of like, uh, he's like the, you're like the sauerkraut of people. You're just like this dishwater blonde, miserable thing that ruins barbecues. Like, that's, so, <laughs> I think that is the best description I've ever heard about Christian Moore. Uh, I, I just, I'm sorry, did I, did I cut you off or you... Uh, no, I was just saying it was really good, and, uh, you should write that down and try to do those again. Thank you, Duncan. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, um, I w can I see the, the stand for a second? No, 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 the mic stand. I wanted to just make sure it's not fucking broken. Uh, <laughs> I'm a very weak person. <laughs> well, you really got angry, uh, when you were doing the whole Black Lives Matter, like, you've had that conversation before. <laughs> Uh, either in real life no, or on I, Facebook, probably. No, you know, what, you know what's funny about that? that? It's actually weird. Every person I've ever talked to, uh, talked to about that is completely reasonable, and they completely agree with me. 